you feel how you're kind of fighting to do that? Yeah. Because your left brain wants to take charge and just read the word. Yeah. But your right brain wants to give you the color and your left brain is trying to push it out of the way. So try again and go a little faster, only looking at the color. Never mind what the word says. Even give yourself blurry eyes and just tell me the color each time. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green, black, red, yellow, green, blue, black, blue, red, green. Very good. Very good. So, yeah, that exercise helps you connect with your right brain also. You can really feel yourself fighting. It's much easier to just read the word. It's harder to say the color. Brain keeps insisting on trying to take over. Yeah. And you're trying so hard to listen to your right brain. So just let go and allow yourself to totally relax. Just go empty. So let everything that might come into your mind, just let it move on. You can't really force it out, but you can... Choose to not get too engaged to it, not to attach yourself to it. So let any thoughts that come into your mind, let them just be on their way. Playing with friends, whether it be at the park, on swings, sandbox, you know, activities you did at five years old. Just having fun, being absolutely carefree. Now, while you're hanging out at that age... I want to tell you that I have those seven symbols in my hand. And I'm putting one up to your screen. It's a square, circle, triangle. It can be open or closed, or the plus. And just stay in that mindset of a five-year-old girl that you were. What image repeats that you see on your screen? Just let go and let it appear. Circle. Yes, it is a circle. Very good. Tell me if it's open or closed. My first inkling was open. Yes, it is. It's the open circle. Now tell me how you saw it, Claudia. Yeah, I actually felt I felt that I saw it. A very tiny, very, 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 very tiny. Okay. Like it's almost like a little tiny image I had. Okay. Now you are seeing tiny images a lot. Over time, they will normalize to be the same size as the actual image appears to your normal vision. We're going to take one of the four colors. I've now put it in your screen. Green, red, yellow, orange, or blue. Look for that very slight hint of color. Almost like a haze. Yes, it is. It's that yellowy orange. Good. How did you see it? Um, it's just um, a lot of little dots, yellow dots. Very good. I'm going to pick three letters. You've always done well at these. I'm going to pick a T, a C, and a W. I'm going to grab one of those in a minute. So visualize the letter T. I'm holding it up. And visualize the letter W, holding that up. And then visualize the letter C. I'm holding that up. I'm going to pick one of those, and I'm holding it in your screen. Visualize a card with my finger, index finger on the bottom left-hand corner. There's a white card with one of those three letters. Which one is it? Go fuzzy eyes and just look around in your mask. Even tap your left and right feet and feel the floor as you're tapping your left and right feet. W. Yes, it is. There you go. Very good. It's a W. So I've got the four colors. Now, it could be the same color, could be a different color. And I'm holding up a color in your screen. Some days, colors are very easy for you. Look for a very subtle haze. Green. Just let, yes, it is. It's the green. Very good. Very good. It was the smile, the star, and the zigzag. I'm going to take one of those three symbols, Claudia, and I'm holding it up in your screen. Let it appear. Any visual effects that you're getting? I've got one, um, I've got a little bit of a haze, but it seems to keep moving today. I don't know why. Okay. It's not in a normal spot. 
It oh. always comes back when I smile. Okay, well, smile, big smile, and see where the haze is and look through the haze. I'm gonna turn it around and which one shows up? Star. Yes, it is, very good. To those other three because okay. you, you visualized them. Yeah. Could be the same one, could be a different one. I put it in your screen, moving it around in a counterclockwise fashion. I'm stopping. So be in the here and now. Go to your screen in front of you. Send your mind sight out and report back to me. What is the symbol? I want to say the smile. Yes, it is. Very good. You got it. Yes. I've got those four colors and I'm grabbing a color and I'm putting it in your screen. What color? Yellow. Yes, it is. Very good. The colors again, real quick. What color just flashed in front of you? Red. Yes, it is. It's red. Very good. The zebra is also Z, and it says zebra on the bottom, but it shows the picture. The celery is green. It says C on the top and celery on the bottom, but you see the celery stalk. Then the third card is the flag. It's a Canadian flag, so it's red and white. It says F at the top. You know, all these are capitals and small. And it says flag on the bottom. And I'm going to pick one. And now I'm putting it in your screen. Which one of the three is it? The zebra, the celery, or the flag? Just let go. Your mind vision can see it. I want you to move your left brain out of the way. So no thoughts, no thinking, no judgment, no criticism, no opinion. Just be empty and let your right brain just give it to you because it already sees it. So move the filter out of the way. Move the wall out of the way. The flag? Yes, it is. It's the flag. Very good. I could pick the same card. I could pick a different card. I'm going to hold one of those three, the celery, the flag, or the zebra up in your screen. Look for my fingernail in the bottom right corner this time so visualize that see the nail just carry a good feeling within yourself imagine that we're you know weeks and months from now and you're seeing everything how that would feel it's like wow that was a lot of work but we got there and now i'm seeing everything no problem it's easy visualize that I show you one card after the other and you get them all. It's such an easy thing to do now. Look for the word, the letter, or the picture. Zebra. Yes, it is. Very good. I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to hold it up. And what color is it? Blue. Yes, it's the blue. Very good. I'm grabbing a dice and I'm putting it in your screen. Is the dice red? Yes, it is. Very good, Claudia. I got those three letters again. I could pick the same letter or I could pick a different one. It's W, C, and T. C. Yes, it is. Excellent. Of those three letters, tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the letter upside down. This makes it more challenging for you and more interesting. Remember, it's the T, the C, or the W, and it's upside down. So that really messes with the left brain, but it confuses the left brain. And while the left brain is confused, the symbol or the letter can come through. If we can keep the left brain guessing and confused and all over the place, it gets out of the way. The right brain can slip in real quickly. W. Yes, it is. It's the W, and it's upside down. Very good. Very good, Claudia. I've got that card. I'm the big card with the seven symbols across the top and the four down. We're going to play a new game. I'm moving my hand around it randomly. So it's only the four symbols, but they're all over the card randomly, right? When you tell me to stop, I'll stop on one. Stop. Okay. I've stopped on one. I've got my finger underneath it, and I'm putting it in the center of the screen. 
So even though you can see the other symbols, there's one in particular in the center that has my finger underneath it. Open square. Lift your mask up. Yay. Very good.